so welcome back everyone to skincare and beauty with perky perkins where i do a lot of unboxings skincare and makeup tutorials and i also do product reviews along the way so today i'm actually going to attempt let's put it that way i'm going to attempt to do a quick little makeup look how many times have we, after being sick with the cold, flu, which whatever it might have been, and we just feel drabbish, we feel sluggish. Like we don't really want to do much of anything, but at the same time, we're like, I want some color. I need my skin to feel like it's alive. Well, that's me right now. I've been sick. I had been sick the last nine days. After filming my collaboration video, I actually got worse. Like I had my cold starting, but I got worse. That's why I came up, I thought of this, kind of like a little quick get ready with me. Um, today, my skin is finally feeling better. It's not feeling dry and gross in my opinion. So it's been quite a bit since I've actually put some makeup and at the same time i don't want to go full glam because i'm still kind of you know getting through it i'm at the tail end of my cold so why not do a quick little makeup look where we feel fresh and alive and not looking like we're sick and pale luckily my skin is not green anymore because i was like grossly pale um for a few days there. So if you wanna see how to create a quick, simple look, especially after being sick for a few days there, stay tuned. But before I go any further, please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, select all in your notifications, and leave a comment below of what is your typical routine when you're sick or once you're getting over like a cold but let's go you guys <coughs> excuse me I, like i said i'm still at the tail end of it so i still have kind of like that raspy kind of voice and i'm still coughing i'm gonna give my tati beauty blendable another shot on camera because it it works on certain things but not all things but I will apply my primer though. I'm using the Glassy Skin by Touch and Soul. This is a nice hydrating primer and it's pretty pore filling in my opinion. Definitely want some around my nose because that's the area that's been very dry. Again, since I'm doing a very light look today, I'm going to actually start off with concealing and I'm going to use the Pretty Vulgar Undercover Concealer in Lily White Lies. And I'm just trying to cover a little bit of the darkness in the inner corner. I'm gonna get my blendable and I know Tati pinches it in half to do the inner corners. I would like to let you guys know that this time around, because I guess this is my first product that I'm going in in my under eye area with the con with the sponge, it actually did a good job concealing or blending it out, I should say. But I do need a little bit more. Blur is more of the medium coverage. I 
I really like how it actually blended out my concealer. But again, you guys, I haven't really layered anything else. So now I'm going to go in with my mother's mother made CC cream. Again, I just want something that's light coverage. I'm going to apply a little bit on my hand just to warm up my skin <clears throat> and kind of even my skin out basically. So I'm dabbing it in the same corner. So I need a little bit more. I'm actually going to dab the rest of my skin to make it faster. switch to a dry corner to do my inner area of my nose. Oh, much better. So I'm noticing if there was if there's too much product on the sponge, it actually just moves the product around. But once I switched it to the dry part, it actually started blending nicer again. So that is cool. So definitely this is this is a really good application. I'm happy with. Next, I'm going in with some powder, and of course, I'm using my Pretty Vulgar Mad About It. Um, my Pretty Vulgar, the powder room, Mad About It. So I'm going to use my Hank and Henry Sondra brush. too much. Tap off any excess. Now for my face, I'm going to just do a very, very light bronzing. Again, I just want to warm up my skin to make me look like I'm alive. <laughs> this is the Tarte Pro Glow Palette, which is in my project pan. I'm going to use this shade right here, which is called Backstage. I'm going to use this Morphe E4 brush. So what I didn't show you guys is I had actually gone in with Autograph, which is the more warmer tone because the other one was too orange. Um, so I needed to warm it up a little bit better. This blush right here is called Dance Floor. Now that I'm done with my blush, I just kind of like do this so that it all blends out. I'm going to set my face using my Slay All Day in Coconut. Personally, I like the highlighters in here and I'm going to use Headliner, which is this guy right here. It looks kind of like a rose gold. I 
so now for our eyes i did start off in the beginning and i applied concealer everything still looks pretty good and i'm not going to do nothing again wild or crazy i'm just going to keep it very very simple i just want to wash a color and i realized i haven't used this palette in so long this is my tart tartless in bloom palette i used to love it a lot um there's a few shades that got a lot a lot of love so i'm gonna use this shade right here which is called smarty pants these are dusty though so be careful deepen up the outer corner just a little bit i'm gonna warm it up basically and i'm gonna go i'm gonna go into rubble which is kind of i'm gonna go into rubble which is kind of like a reddish orange a reddish brown I'm gonna go back with my original brush, no more product, and I'm gonna blend it out, starting from the inside out. Now I'm gonna use my liner from Laura Geller. This is called Brown Eye Girl. off camera really quick and put some mascara in guys and i'm back mascara is easy um again we don't want to fuss too much so the last thing i'm going to do is apply my gerard's cosmetics rodeo drive full lipstick this is a quick easy way to put some color in your lips it's a nice neutral color which i really really enjoy so this is my completed look you guys again i just wanted to do a quick and easy look after being sick for so many days again in the comment let me know what is typically your go-to look after being sick and you just want a flush of color and look like you're alive um thank you guys so very much for joining me today i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i will catch you in the next one Goodbye.